Hello, my name is Eric Bach, and welcome to another session of Techniques brought to you by NEI. In today's session, we'll cover how to configure the Trimble Positions desktop software. Once the Trimble Positions desktop software has been installed, we need to go in and configure this. We'll start off by going to the Start menu, All Programs, the Trimble folder, the Trimble Positions Tools folder, and finally we're going to select Desktop Configuration. In here it's going to want to create a database. This database is going to contain all the operational data for the Trimble desktop components. This includes field configurations, post-processing profiles, the base station list, project definitions, and the session slash feature position data within each project. For more information about this database and the different configurations, please check out the Tremble Positions blog. There's a lot of great information in here, so I'm going to go to the search menu here and type database. I recommend that you start off by going down here and reading the blog on the desktop, aka office side database. It goes into a lot more detail. And then the other one here is how to set up Tremble Positions desktop database on the SQL server. I recommend that you go over both of these topics. The first thing we need to do to set up the Trimble Positions database is to click on add slash edit a new configuration. And actually, the first time you're in here, it's the only option to choose. Under configuration type, you can choose single user or all users on this PC. I'll just select all users on this PC. And under database setup, we have two options. Create a new JET database for me, or I will set up my own connection myself. Typically, you'll use the top option, create a new JET database for me. But if you need multiple users, I recommend that you choose the bottom option and you go out and read the Trimble Positions blog on that database subject like I mentioned previously. For now, I'm going to select Create a New JET Database for Me. I'm going to click on Apply. It creates a Trimble Positions underscore one database. I'm going to click on Test Current Configuration to make sure it's set up correctly. It is, so I'm going to click on OK and exit. And that's it for setting up the Trimble Positions database. The last step in setting up Trimble Positions desktop is to configure ArcMap. So we're going to go into the Customize toolbar and we're going to go down to Extensions. Now there are two things we need turned on here. One, you need ArcPad Data Manager. If you don't have this option, you need to install ArcPad on your computer. And then all the way at the bottom, we need to turn on the Trimble Positions desktop extension. Once that's done, we're going to click on Close. Now we need to turn on the Trimble Positions toolbar. So you can click anywhere in the gray area at the top, and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and look for Trimble Positions. We have two tools that can be used. The Trimble Positions desktop administrator, which contains setting up projects, devices, field configurations, processing profiles, datum transformations, and GNSS editing. The other tool is the dockable window. That's where we check the data in and out and handle the sessions, correct the data, view the features, update the features, remove, and zoom to. One note, if you don't set up the Trimble Positions database, whenever you go to click on one of these tools, you will get an error that says you, you don't have a database set up. All right, well, that's it. I'm going to close this down. This concludes today's technique session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos, FAQs, and information on upcoming trainings. Thank you and have a great day.